Hey everybody, I'm glad to be back with you again today. And it's been a busy, busy week and I had a bunch of questions and I don't know that I can get to all of them this week, but I had one that I think needs to be addressed, okay? And this is just critical for all of us. Um, one of them was how the heck do I repair my credit, all right? So we're gonna assume that the credit had been damaged. Um, okay, now there's some damage to credit and there's extensive damage to credit. So in some cases you can fix credit in six months. In other cases it takes seven years to get because you had to go through a bankruptcy or one thing or another, uh, restructure things. So um, anyway, it depends on how bad you've damaged your credit, all right? So the first thing I wanna tell you is if you haven't damaged your credit, love your credit. A credit rating is a valuable, valuable asset. I mean, it's very valuable, and you will see as life goes on. So, if you haven't damaged your credit, love your credit, nurture your credit, build your credit. Okay, now let's say for the guy that asked me the question, we know your credit's fine, but he asked me the question, and it's a reasonable answer. So I'm gonna assume, because he was a younger fellow, that it probably isn't damaged that bad, maybe some late pays, that type of thing, all right? So, my first advice to him would be to get a credit report, uh, and see what's on there, all right? So if there's back pays, maybe some utility bill that you forgot to pay or some type of collection, make contact with those people and get that taken care of. So even if you have to make payments or whatever the situation is, get those paid off, all right? Because your credit's not gonna repair itself as long as you have collections and back pays on there that haven't been taken care of, all right? Okay, and then seriously, we get bombarded with every opportunity in the world to spend money. We all want, I mean, I'm, I'm just as bad as anybody else. Don't do it, okay? <laughs> Seriously, I tell myself, you can't spend the money if you can't afford it. So you live within your means. And if you borrow money with your credit card, then it's imperative that you make the payment on time and you make it on time until it's paid off. That's part of nurturing that credit report, all right? They love to see those payments made on time. They hate to see late pays, all right? So let's say that he had um, a collection on a utility bill and a couple of late pays on his car. Okay, not a problem. Just start making payments, everything on time, get that collection on the utility bill paid off. And you know, after a period of months, maybe a couple of years, I'm not sure, it depends on the grievance, how, how difficult it was, then that credit rating is gonna keep going up. And as time passes, it just gets better and better. And when you get up into the upper 700s or an 801 credit score, you're in like Flynn. There isn't a house you can't buy, there isn't a car you can't buy, but it all stays the same. Don't buy what you can't afford, which is another topic that we're gonna talk about. And another question that I got this week is, how do I know what I afford in real estate? So we're gonna talk about that, but we're not gonna talk about it on this video. Anyway, hopefully that helps you. If you have any more more pointed questions, send me the message down below and I will get a better answer. If I have to bring in one of my lenders again, we'll talk to them and find out exactly what we need to do. Because we all credit's all different. Everybody has a different flaw, a different thing happens. There's medical bills, all kinds of stuff. However, it's all fixable. And if, when you get it fixed, then you gotta take care of it. Anyway, have a blessed day and I will talk to you later.